YouTube, this is Assassinator17 with my new video on how to make an email spammer. Um, yeah, just to save time, because this would really take up a lot of time if I if I walked it through step by step. Just create Windows application, you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 text boxes. Um, the message text box needs to be multi-line. Um, you don't have to have this, this is optional, but I've put a loop counter in. So yeah, that's two labels, and then the start and stop spam buttons. And um, for the SMTP server, I didn't use a text box, I used a drop down box, because I found that uh, I didn't want to have to keep remembering the SMTP servers, so I just put them in the drop down, drop -down box and that's fine. Anyway, um, let's just walk through the little code we've got here. Oh yeah, and you'll need a timer. Um, whatever interval you want, just keep it standard or whatever. Okay, so when you click button 1, then start the timer, and then this is the complicated bit. You make a new variable that's an SMTP client, and a new variable that's going to be the mail message. Um, the server credentials are your username and password, and that's textbox1 and textbox2. Those are these two. Um, you can just put, you know, your username and password here. Make sure they're in quotes. Um, server host is the drop-down box I had, which is that. Um, uh, the port is normally 587, or I think you can use 27, but I would just stick to 587, just because, you know, it works. Um, and then all y you've got all your mailing stuff, so you've got the mail from, the t person it's from, um, who's it going to be to, the subject, the body, which is just the actual message, and enable SML, SSL, you're probably going to want that, because that's just a bit of security, you want that, protect your password and all that. And then a bit of error handling I found here, just in case people type the wrong information, the wrong credentials, or the wrong host, then you want to have some error handling down here. Try to send mail, um, catch an exception, then just do a message box, which I've got there, stop the timer as well, and then change the label I had to zero. So um, if anything goes wrong, then this is what's going to run after it. But if, if everything goes right, try it, it's done it, then it'll skip this bit, and it'll go to here where in my label, which is this one, not this one, this one, it will just keep adding one every time it goes through the loop. So every time it goes through the loop, it'll add one so you can keep track of your how many emails you sent. That's pretty handy. And then if you want a button to, is the stop button. Time to stop and set the loop counter back to zero. Um, yeah, let's just show you how this works. Oh yeah, you want to make a password char on this password text box thing. Just, you know, a bit of added security there. Okay then, you're going to want to create an account at um, Google Mail because not all accounts let you send a lot of mail one after another, but Google Mail does. So I created one earlier. Just create one is pretty easy. Um, SMTP server. This is the Google Mail one. I'll post a link in the description to a list of all the, well, to most of the free email servers. And um, yeah, so you can check that out. And I'll just put my email address in here so you can see it works. Okay, let's start. It, it does take a while to send each message because there's a lot of stuff it's got to run through. But there we go, we've got one. And then it's going to start popping up at the side now. There we go. And another. And another. I, I'm just going to stop it at five if my cursor comes back. There we go. Stop. So yeah, let's just get rid of all those. And then if we bring up my SN. Let's see, oh, I've got six, but 
okay, well they're all there anyway. So yeah, this is how you make an email spammer. I'll post all the code in the description as well as the link towards um, where the SMTP servers are. Um, yeah, goodbye.